go. Hey, come stars, this is Mrs. Vandewoli, and we're gonna do foul water today as a demo. So I have right here some good old Ohio River water. And you know what? This is where our water that we drink comes from. Can you believe that? So down on the Ohio River near California, Ohio, um, they have a water processing plant where they take water like this and they make it in a good drinking water. So what we're gonna do today is go through the steps similar to the Cincinnati Waterworks does to make good drinking water. Side note, we are gonna actually test it by drinking it, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is if you look closely, there's a lot of like grass, mud, stuff. I don't think there's any dead fish in here though, okay? Um, a little bit of oil, must have been a, a really uh, hopping boating weekend this weekend with all the oil on top. So anyway, we need to get rid of some of this stuff. So we're going to strain it through some cheesecloth here, okay? So we're gonna get rid of these large particles, okay? So this cheesecloth is actually trapping, if you look, a lot of those large, like grass and dirt, and I don't see any dead fish, okay? And that's about all that beaker can hold. So I just left the rest of the yuck in here, okay? So what has happened? What did that cheesecloth do? It looks like that cheesecloth got rid of all those, you know, grass and, and dirt. Yeah, so if you look inside the cheesecloth, you're gonna see what remained behind, okay? So what's left? Well, if you look closely at the beaker now, it's mostly dark water, but on the top, there's still some of that oils, all right? So maybe from the boats or something, all right, that, that put out oil into the water. So we need to get rid of the oil now, okay? So this is a separatory funnel. And what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna close this off and I'm going to put this mixture of Ohio River water and oil and brown stuff into the separatory funnel. And what the Ohio, uh, or what the Cincinnati Waterworks does uh, is a similar step. It has like a skimmer uh, that will go around. It's like a big arm that just goes around the top of its sample and it skims off all the oils. So I'm gonna let it sit here for a few minutes and let all the oil rise to the top. All right, you know that oil and water doesn't mix. You know that the oil would be on top, like if you have Italian dressing, the oil is on top of your, of your dressing. So the oil is actually up here, if you'll see that. And this is the non-oil portion, all right? I think I've actually let it separate long enough, so I'm gonna open it up. All right, and look at this oil section right here. All right, you can really see the line being formed of the oil versus the rest of it. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna stop this before this oil water gets down here, because I don't want any chances that oil gets